here's some of the foods that we can start eating. Um, eat a rainbow. It's a great saying. Everybody is talking about it now, but it just is the best way to try doing this. Within a week, we should be trying to make sure that, you know, we're eating all the different colors of the rainbow and choosing different vegetables. Having a wide variety is beneficial too. Sometimes clients say to me, oh, but how am I going to eat um, a full rainbow of colors in one day? And I say to them, you know what? There's two things here. Number one, it doesn't have to be in one day, over a few days. If you have a good variety of, of types and colors over three or four days, that's brilliant. Also, another thing that I suggest to my clients is what I called a three by three rule. So if you can get um, three veg in with your breakfast, three with your lunch and three with your dinner, that's nine a day. That's brilliant, guys. So you could be having scrambled eggs in the morning with some sauteed up asparagus and mushrooms and red peppers. Already got three. Add in some lovely herbs. I love to put in a bit of thyme in there or a bit of rosemary, which has antioxidant properties and have that with your scrambled eggs on some delicious rye bread. Add in a bit of smoked salmon if you want. Delicious. Then for lunch, I mean, if you have a salad or a soup for lunch, you could easily get four or five vegetables in there with your onions and your garlic um, for your soups. And then picking a few different vegetables and some nice organic stock and make a delicious soup. Then going forward to dinner time and um, choosing your healthy protein source, which could be some meat or fish or eggs um, or some beans or lentils or chickpeas and having um, a good quality carbohydrate so some quinoa or brown rice and then plenty of vegetables even if you just put three in but make up a big stir fry or, or roast some vegetables with some turmeric and olive oil and have a delicious warming dinner I'm starving now after that <laughs> so here we go the vitamin a rich foods would be in dark orange and dark green foods so things like butternut squash, which is delicious, roasted or in soups, sweet potato. You can make gorgeous sweet potato fries, mangoes and spinach in a smoothie, broccoli and kale. Kale is gorgeous if you just saute some um, a little bit of butter with some garlic and some kale. And it's really, really tasty. Vitamin C comes from red peppers, kale, strawberries, broccoli, cabbage, asparagus, kiwi and citrus fruits. Um, Vitamin E rich foods then from sunflower seeds, almonds, avocados and cold pressed plant oils. So with plant oils, we need to be careful not to be overheating them because or heating them to high temperatures because it um, can oxidize the fat content of the oil and can be damaging within our bodies. So when we want to choose oils, it's better to you know drizzle your cold pressed plant oils over your salads and things rather than heating them to high temperatures for stir fries. Use coconut oil instead for that. Um, so in, in order to increase all these varieties of vitamins and minerals in the body, we want to be eating loads of these foods, different varieties, trying to get your three by three in, nine a day. And these vitamins A, C and E are what we call antioxidants. So they have really really strong powerful capabilities of reducing inflammation in the body and helping um, the body um, as anti-inflammatory 